In the heart of the depths of the Gulf of St. Lawrence thrive captivatingly strange marine refuges. The Gulf of St. Lawrence Coral and Sponge Marine Refuges were established by Fisheries and Oceans Canada in 2017. There are 11 such areas, mainly around Anticosti Island and in the Laurentian Channel. These marine refuges aim to protect corals and sponges and cover over 8,500 square kilometers or approximately 17 times the size of the island of Montreal. The marine refuges were selected based on several criteria, identifying high-density coral and sponge areas and those with diverse species. Minimizing impact on fisheries was also important. Before designating the coral and sponge marine refuges, Fisheries and Oceans Canada used socioeconomic data to redefine their boundaries. Discussions and meetings were held with fish harvesters to discuss these limits and find the best compromise between conservation and sustainable use of the environment. Activities in coral and sponge marine refuges can be authorized on a case-by-case -case basis, including surveys, monitoring or scientific research. When evaluating these activities, we ensure that the information gained outweighs any potential disturbances to the habitat or the species we aim to conserve. We conduct ecological monitoring of the marine refuges through underwater photography and video. Cameras are installed on a benthic sled towed by the vessel. Imaging surveys allow us to observe the species present in the marine refuges, their distribution, abundance, and also their interactions with other species. Over time, ecological monitoring will allow us to better inform management and make informed decisions for the monitoring of marine refuges. Corals and sponges are animals. For example, the sea pen, which is a soft coral, is composed of multiple polyps, small animals attached to a central axis. Corals and sponges have limited mobility and very slow growth, making them particularly vulnerable to disruptions in their environment. They are filter feeding organisms, which means they filter particles in the water to feed. They have a very long lifespan, ranging from several decades for sea pens to even longer for sponges. Corals and sponges are essential to the ecosystem because they provide habitats for other organisms. They provide resting, feeding, and reproductive areas for various species. In the deep and dark waters of the Gulf of St. Lawrence, corals and sponges can be the sole seafloor habitat, like an oasis in the desert. Among the inhabitants of these ecosystems, we find a multitude of marine creatures, including Atlantic cod, redfish, black dogfish, and grenadier. To date, five species of sea pens have been observed in these marine refuges, along with at least four other species of soft corals, and a species of hard coral, the only one of its kind present in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. There are also more than 40 species of sponges in these habitats. Several of them remain to be discovered and identified. Corals and sponges are highly fragile and vulnerable to disturbances in their environment. Equipment that comes into contact with a seabed can uproot, crush, and injure them, even causing death. The recovery process for these animals is known to be very slow, spanning decades. In these areas, the use of fishing gear that touches the seabed is prohibited. This restriction affects various fisheries, and the efforts made by fish harvesters to adapt to these conservation areas are a significant contribution to preserving marine species in Quebec. These restrictions issued by Fisheries and Oceans Canada are monitored by fishery officers to prevent unauthorized fishing in the marine refuges. Raising public awareness about coral and sponge conservation in the Gulf of St. Lawrence is important to protect these species and their surrounding ecosystem. Aboard the Bella de Gagné, the Marine Mammal Observation Network implemented an interpretative activity funded by Fisheries and Oceans Canada, focusing on the importance of protecting corals and sponges in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. 
This vessel supplies the Basse Côte Nord and offers excursions to tourists during the summer season. It also sails through three of the 11 marine refuges aimed at protecting corals and sponges. Other initiatives with partners also contribute to raising public awareness and educating those who use the marine environment about conservation issues. The objective of these initiatives is to raise awareness among the general public and foster a collective recognition in favor of preserving these unique marine ecosystems. The establishment of marine refuges by Fisheries and Oceans Canada is the result of a remarkable collective effort that demonstrates the importance of collaborating to conserve and protect the richness of these marine sanctuaries, essential to the prosperity of a multitude of species living in our waters.